since you know how to print out to the console, it only makes sense that you'd learn how to grab values because you may build a program and you want to test a certain input value and see if that changes the behavior of your application. And we'll do that throughout the course. So right here, the way to do it is first you have to, well, usually it's a good idea if you're getting information to ask for the information. So say, what is your name? And then here, we're, what we're going to do is we need something to store it in. So we're going to get a variable. I'm going to say name equals and then gets dot chomp. Now, the, the gets is the method that actually asks for the value. So if I did this, uh, it would run perfectly. So what is your name? My name is Jordan and it returns Jordan. But you may notice it returns Jordan and it returns Jordan with this new line character. So say that we were building a application for comparing passwords. Now this isn't the exact way you do it. It has to be a lot more complicated for security reasons. But if you just were looking to match up passwords, uh, let's say if we did say if password is equal to ASDF, ASDF, uh, we're going to return true, else false. So this would be, let's say that for some reason we had an application that only had the password of ASDF, ASDF, uh, and if you entered that in, it was true, and if not, false. So let's say our password right here, and we ask for it, we'll say what is the password, Hit run, and I'm going to type in ASDF, ASDF, and see if it returns true or false. Here you go. You can see it returns false, and the reason is, and we can print it out to get the, the reason. It's the same reason uh, with the name. So if I do P, uh, let's see, yeah, P, password. Hit run, ASDF, ASDF. You can see it prints it out and it shows this new line character. And that's the reason why, because it's trying to compare this string, which has this new line character, with this one. So that can be kind of confusing and it's definitely not what we want for the application. So that's why I always add gets.chomp. And what chomp does, it chomps down on that new line character. So now hit run and you can see what's a password asdf asdf hit return and it prints it out no new line character and it's true so that's the way that you get output uh in or you get input from the console and you can use it in the application by leveraging variables